hello guys you are welcome again to another tutorial today i want to show you a logo reveal technique in adobe after Effects. we're going to create something like this it's simple but very unique so support me on this one by liking the video hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell then come back and let's get started Create any composition, make the resolution to 1920 by 1080p. You can choose any frame rate you like. I'm going to leave this at 30 frames per second and then the duration to 5 seconds. Name your composition and then hit OK. Right click on your timeline to create a new solid. Make comp size, name it BG and then hit OK. Go to effect and preset and type in fill. Drag and add it to your new solid layer and change the background here to white. Now switch this panel to project manager window. Now it is time to import your Lego. You will find the logo in the description if you want to download this. If you want the project file of this tutorial is a template, then you can leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll send you a link to download the project files once you have the logo drag and drop it into your project manager window drag and drop your imported logo into your composition right click to pre-compose this logo you can name it logo holder make sure you select move all attributes into the new composition and then hit ok drag and drop the fill effect again onto your logo composition then change the color to black then hit OK. Take the pen tool. Make sure no layer is selected on your timeline. Then set fill to none. Select a stroke color and set the stroke width to 6. Click to draw a line like this one. Hold down the shift while doing that so that you can keep a straight line. Expand the stroke options. Make line cap rounded add a trim part move your time indicator to one second expand the trim part option and set a keyframe for start and end and then set the end value to 40 move your time indicator to frame zero and then set end value to 100 for both hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes Select all the keyframe and then easy ease them. Open your graph editor and then select these keyframes and then pull it inward a bit like this. Then switch back to your timeline. Hold down shift key and then hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position. Move your time indicator to one second forward in time and set a keyframe for the position. Then you move to two seconds forward in time and animate the path position to the left side of your screen. Create a new keyframe for start and end properties. You can also copy and paste this at this same position. Then move your time indicator to three seconds forward in time and set end value to 24 and start value to 24. Select these keyframes and offset them a bit. Move your time indicator back to frame 0 and make sure no layer is selected. Select the rectangle tool. Set fill to a color and set stroke to none. Draw a rectangle over your logo like this. Hit V on your keyboard to drop the active tool. Select the shape layer, hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position properties. Move this shape to the right until the left corner aligns with the stroke position. Name this the logo mask and then make it a child of the stroke layer. Then move the logo mask right above the logo holder layer and set the track mat to alpha mat. Move your time indicator to 2 seconds forward in time. Select the logo layer, hit P on your keyboard and set a keyframe for position. Also set a keyframe for scale. Then move your time indicator to 1 second. 
set scale value to 140 and then move the position to the far left side of the screen select the keyframes right click on them go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease select these keyframes then switch your graph editor and make the curves like this switch back to your timeline then close up the scale keyframes like this then move your time indicator to three seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale again you can copy the last keyframe right here and paste it right there move time frame forward and set the value of the scale to zero hold down shift key and hit t on your keyboard to reveal the opacity value come back to three seconds and set a keyframe for the opacity then move time frame forward again and set the opacity to zero select the last keyframe on scale then go to graph editor and then create a curve like this switch back to your timeline right click on your timeline and add a text layer align the text to center pre-compose the text layer name it tag make sure move all attribute to new composition is checked and then hit ok now add a fill effect and then set your color Move to 3 second 10 frames forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale value and the opacity. Then move back to 3 seconds and then set scale to 140 and opacity to 0. Select your keyframe and easy ease them. Select the last keyframe here, switch to graph editor and make your curves like this one. Switch back to your timeline, move toward the end of the composition and create another keyframe for the opacity and move to the end of the composition and then set the opacity level to zero, all on the text composition. Then highlight all the layers except the background layer, then pre-compose all layers. Name this main logo animation. Make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the composition. Make the duplicated composition a 3D layer. You can toggle this to reveal your 3D, check it, rotate it on the X axis, then move it downward. You can reduce the scale like this a bit, reduce the size like this. Go to effect and preset and look for Gaussian blur and add it to the composition. Make sure you blur it to around this point. Right there is okay. Then hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity and drop the opacity to around about this. If you play this back now, this is what you have. That is it guys, this is how to animate a unique slick logo reveal in Adobe After Effects. If you find this video useful, make sure you hit the like button, that will help the algorithm suggest this video to more people. Do me well to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Until I see you on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.